Year of Our Lord 2019, I did not expect to be talking about J.K. Rowling, trans rights, and anti-trans fear-mongering, but here we are. <sighs> Twitter and the internet in general have been exploding with the news that J.K. Rowling is against trans rights. Before I can explain where that came from, I need to give a little background. In the UK since 2004, the Gender Recognition Act has allowed people to change their legal gender with the receipt of a gender recognition certificate. They had to provide a diagnosis of gender dysphoria, proof that they had lived as their gender for two years, and go in front of a gender recognition panel, which could choose to deny their gender recognition certificate. It's not an easy process. The system was a step forward from how things were previously. However, it still presents significant barriers to trans people. These barriers primarily come in the form of time. Gender identity clinics in the UK have reported wait times of up to two years. And that's just the wait time for the initial consultation, not the wait time to receive a medical diagnosis or the wait time to begin medical transition. The requirement of a diagnosis plus two years of living as their gender, which for a lot of the gender recognition panels, that, that does mean medical transition and some sort, sort of surgery. The requirement of a diagnosis plus two years of living as your gender means that a person could wait up to four years before they can change their gender legally. That doesn't even take into account the trans people who have their request denied by the gender recognition panel for not being trans enough, whatever that really means. Being recognized as trans and having a gender on your ID that does not match how you present puts people at risk of discrimination and violence. The inability to update your legal gender means that you can't move through the world as who you really are because every time you have to show your ID, you're at risk. Let me give you just one example of how unsafe it can be to be an out trans person in the UK. A woman in 2017 was given asylum in New Zealand because of the harassment and threats of danger that she faced living in the UK. And this was all as a result of her being trans. So it's not just like, it's a big deal for people to be able to update their gender legally. It provides them a level of safety and security. Because of all of this, there's been discussion about reforming the Gender Recognition Act to allow for self-identification to be the basis for somebody's gender recognition certificate. The reasoning for this is that, in general, when a person says they're trans, it's because they're trans. People don't randomly change their gender for fun or lightly. Being visibly trans poses a risk to a person's safety. It's not something that people just do willy-nilly. Here's where JK Rowling comes in. She spoke out in support of an anti-trans activist named Maya Forstadter. She is known for saying things like men cannot change into women, that sex is biological fact and is immutable. Men and boys are male, women and girls are female. It's impossible to change sex. So basically, she doesn't recognize people's legal gender even after they receive the gender recognition certificate. She's also known for fear-mongering about the consequences of self-identification. She has argued that gender self-identification as a basis for gender recognition would allow for domestic violence shelters, rape crisis centers, women's bathrooms, and women's prisons to become overrun with men dressed as women intent on sexually assaulting them, apparently using their gender recognition certificate to do so. However, having a gender recognition certificate doesn't enable you to sexually assault somebody legally. And trans people already go to the bathroom that aligns with their gender without needing a gender recognition certificate. A acquiring a gender recognition certificate doesn't change somebody's ability to enter a restroom. There's no evidence that there are significant amounts of men who dress as women to enter women's spaces. And there's definitely no evidence that in countries that allow for gender self-identification that there have been increases in this kind of behavior. There just There is no evidence for that at all. And whether or not a country allows for self-identification doesn't have an impact on how easily a man can dress as a woman and enter a woman's bathroom because nobody checks gender recognition certificates to enter a restroom. Additionally, rape crisis centers, domestic violence shelters, and women's prisons 
already have an obligation to ensure that perpetrators don't have access to vulnerable women. They already do risk assessment to ensure that people with previous offenses against women are not given access to vulnerable women. Allowing for self-identification to be the basis of a gender recognition certificate doesn't change this. The reality is, Maya Forstadter, J.K. Rowling, and others are using women and women's safety as an excuse to try to prevent the extension of rights to a minority group that faces a severe amount of discrimination and harassment. Women's safety is not at risk from trans people being able to self-identify as their gender. It's just not. Why did Maya Forstadter need J.K. Rowling's support in the first place? Well, Maya was previously a contractor at the Center for Global Development and recently took the Center for Global Development to court because they did not renew her contract with them. When her contract came to an end, they chose not to renew it based off her stated beliefs that transgender people are dangerous to society, that trans women are actually men, and that transgender people should not have access to single-sex spaces that align with their gender. As her stated beliefs and feelings about trans people are pretty harmful, I can understand why that company did not want to continue to have her on staff. I can imagine some of their staff are trans and that her presence made them quite uncomfortable. And like I said, Maya decided to take the company to court. And many of her supporters are saying things like, she got fired for talking about sex and gender. But that's not true. She wasn't fired. Her contract was just not renewed. She lost her court case, obviously. And the judge stated, if a person has transitioned from male to female and has a gender recognition certificate, that person is legally a woman. That is not something Ms. Forrester is entitled to ignore. Ms. Forrester's position is that even if a trans woman has a GRC, gender recognition certificate, she could not honestly describe herself as a woman. Even paying regard to the qualified right of freedom of expression, people cannot expect to be protected if their core belief includes violating others' dignity and creating an intimidating, hostile, degrading, humiliating, or offensive environment for them which I think is totally fair. Your freedom of speech kind of ends where you start trying to take away other people's freedoms. So what exactly did JK Rowling say in support of my forced daughter, you might ask? Well, she said, dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, but force a woman out of their job for stating that sex is real? Hashtag I stand with Maya, hashtag this is not a drill. Basically, JK Rowling is participating in the public misinformation campaign about what happened. Maya was not forced out of her job for saying sex is real. She was not forced out of her job at all. Her contract was simply not renewed because she made it very clear that she did not respect trans women's gender recognition certificates, and she ran a public misinformation campaign designed to stoke hatred against trans women. So in summary, recognizing trans people as their gender does not pose a risk to public safety. Trans people using the bathroom that aligns with their gender does not cause harm to women and it does not make it easier for sexual predators to hurt women. Don't let yourself get sucked into this hateful movement that JK Rowling has sadly seemed to join. Thanks for watching.